Yes, fellas, welcome back to another lap guide video. Daily Race A this week is the Ferrari 458 Autodromo Lagore. Make your east have no idea how I pronounce that, but we've chosen the yellow one because why not? It had to be yellow or white. Uh, fairly tricky car to drive this one. Uh, we were playing around with the brake balance. We used negative two, I believe, for this lap, but we did use negative one and zero and had a couple of laps uh, with a similar result. Uh, it's all about maximizing track limits here and being gentle on the throttle. Uh, yeah, classic things, carry speed, uh, maximize your trail braking areas. And uh, yeah, these brake zones with these sports hard tires are extremely long, but without further ado, let's get into it. So we're braking where the light color changes on the road there from dark to light. Uh, we'll use both the chase and the interior once again. Uh, and we've got our little discs uh, telling us where we change over from uh, threshold braking into some trail braking. And then when I can get back to wide open throttle. Uh, so down to second for this nice little U-turn using the yellow on the right hand side of the road. Uh, you can pick up third there. Uh, on this particular lap we stayed in second and gave it a little squirt. Uh, third you can get some good drive out of there as well. You want to get back over that white line with a minimum of two wheels. Uh, we are trying to clip our left hand side wheels on that curb right on the end of that curb there. Get a little bit of wide open throttle in here then straight back onto the braking. Now we want to cut this corner as much as possible. Uh, just keep all four tyres on the white stuff and jump the sausage curbs. You can use all this ripple strip on the exit and some more without a penalty. Um, yeah, we're going to break as soon as this we get next to this yellow uh, concrete on the left hand side. Uh, so that's where the threshold breaking will begin and then we're going to try and trail break down to the apex. Yeah, it's really tricky here. You are trying to run that white line as much as possible. Then we try and hold onto the brakes all the way to the yellow curb. We take a little break away from the apex on this occasion. Uh, here you do want to stay closer to the right hand side of the road and possibly be using third. Uh, we were experimenting with a little bit of third and fourth. I have netted better results with third out of there. A little bit of threshold into trail. Uh, you want to use all these curbs. You can get your left hand tyres on the grass there. Uh, this time the left hand tyres want to be on the ripple strip. You keep them on the ripple strip that will avoid the penalty and we're going to use all the white stuff uh, behind the curbs there. Now really tricky here running out to that curb. You don't generally want to use the grass. You want to come back and straddle that sausage there. Uh, we were trying to do. We ran a bit wide on this occasion. Uh, it is wide open throttle through there if you can get the right line. A little little tiny lift if you really have to now down to the last hairpin to finish off the lap we want to break a little bit before the shadow on the ground probably two or three meters before that i'd have tried to get to the shadow uh, you do run deep though if you break at the shadow so we're going to start trail breaking as soon as that curb ends you are trying to get back and clip the end of this sausage curb and gentle on the throttle we're using third to drive out of here. So second on the apex, pick up third before you get to wide open throttle. And then just a straight drive to the line, minimize your steering inputs. On board, in car for the fast mo. Look how long these braking zones are. And we do jam quite a little bit of throttle at every chance we get here. Just try and feed it in. Back across the white line. Trying to clip the end of this curb here on the left hand side. Use all the curb here. Once again, when that curb runs out, that's when you want to come back onto the road. You can use that concrete for your exit. Braking at the yellow concrete on the left hand side. Trail brake as we're about to start picking up third. Try and come back and hit the end of the inside curb as your apex. Really late apex corners around here. A little bit of full throttle into ah, full throttle full braking into trail braking 
try to cut these curbs as much as possible. You might have seen in the outer car view right at the start of the video. We are maximizing the track width as much as possible. Try and straddle that curb. Start turning right immediately. We're going to break a little bit before the shadow. Threshold all the way to the end of the curb. Trail braking down into this sausage curb. You can get the right hand tires to graze that sausage curb. Uh, using all the road on the exit. And back to chase cam, the long trail braking sectors, that is where a lot of the time will be if you can <coughs> maximise those trail braking areas. And just experiment with your gears on the way out of the corners. Uh, it does have a lot of power with this car, so if you are going to stay in the lower gears, uh, so that can inhibit your acceleration on occasion. It does like a short shift here, especially if you are going to use any second gear, definitely short shift out of that into third. Third can be short shifted as well. Uh, fourth and fifth, you want to start running those guys out. So keep the car a bit further over to the right hand side in this part of the track and you can possibly use third out of there if you're not carrying enough speed on the apex. Found definitely fourth through here. I was picking up fifth. I have tried 4th and 5th on that last part of that chicane. 4th probably a little bit better acceleration, it's really you've got to time your steering inputs. A really difficult combo, a couple of hundred kilometres here um, should see you start to get used to the car. We're only 21 kilometres. We did drop a lap that was probably a little bit faster than this, 2 or 3 tenths, but uh, that stuff happens. So now on board for the bumper cam players and I'll take this opportunity to sign off. Uh, good luck with your daily race A. We'll probably have a look at uh, daily race C shortly. Uh, if you're new here and any part of this helped give us the old thumbs up and uh, yeah I think I've already said that. If you're new chuck us a subscribe and I will catch you shortly hopefully for a couple of streams.